the new challenger. Welcome back, everybody. We are here today with another Final Fantasy Brave XVS video. Today, we are going to be taking on the new Trial of the Fire Beast. This is a three star Esper Ifrit. Um, there's a lot of stuff going around on how to beat him, how difficult he is, stuff like that. He's actually not too, too bad. Um, a lot of the strategies I came around to is using a Chow at 200% fire resistance. I'm not going to be doing that, so there's other strategies about, but uh, this is a strategy that I use that seems to be fairly effective, so I'm just going to walk you through what I did today. So, what I'm going to do, now this is not Obama, it's not going to get you everything, but it is going to get you the, th the three star Ifrit, which is what you want, and you're going to get the five super sight as well. So, for friend unit, I'm going to go with the most powerful Frivea that I can get my hands on. Because you want to do ice damage. He's 100% weak to ice damage, so... You can do it with, like, Orlandus, like, Chainers and stuff like that. The damage isn't the problem. He's not that strong. It's just he hits, like, a Mack truck, so it's negating that. So, um, I got three Freveas. I'm lucky enough to have two, so I'm going to run my two Freveas plus the friend unit. Mistia is going to be doing all the work. She's going to magic tank the damage to take the hit for the Hellfire. That's going to imperil everybody by 100% fire damage. And I got, uh... Fina, uh, Lotus Mage Fina for the re-raise and then solely debuff. So the key here for this trick is to always have re-raise on Mistia so that you don't lose her ability to tank up when she dies. So when she dies, she comes back to life, you still have her turn so you can tank up and she can just keep on taking the hits for the team while the rest of them buffs and does damage. So let's get right in there. Now this strategy is not 100% perfect. Now the, you definitely have the chance to die if the tank doesn't tank. But um, it's fairly successful, so let's give it a whirl here. We're going to skip this because I don't care about the dialogue that much. So first off, let's just buff our team with Soli. Um, let's see, how are we going to do it? Get her buffed, and key is to get the re-raise. So you can dual cast re-raise, which is really nice. So I'm going to uh, have that on Mistia, and I'm going to have that on Fina. Uh, Mistia, we're going to use the wall, and then just uh, Frost Flower Blitz times three for the damage. And this is going to hurt him pretty good. Um, take a few turns, but again, nothing too crazy. Only the 10% there. Ooh. So see, she resisted that totally. Now next time he does that, she's gonna instantly die because of the uh, the imperil. So that's why they want you to have the 200%. I have her at about 115, so it doesn't matter because she's gonna die. If I don't have her 200%, the second hit's gonna die. So I'm not gonna overly concern about buffs. That's not gonna do anything. I'm going to continue to dual cast the re-raise on the rest of the team here. I'm just going to defend with Misty, Mistia, and we're going to Frost Flower Blitz. Doing good, not getting tongue-tied on it this time. Times three. This should hurt a bit more now because he got uh, debuffed from the ice damage initially. Now, see, she went right down, but there we go. She's back to life. Now, the good thing about the re-raise is that when she dies, she loses that 100% fire in peril. So, um, now you can put the re-raise on her again. She's going to eat a turn automatically, and it's not going to do any damage. So, she's good for good for two times. Just make sure to have the, the re-raise on her. So there, the whole the whole squad got re-raised. And this is basically the strategy. It's just a lot of rinse and repeat. The main thing is having the re-raise on your tank. Um, if you have Chow, great. As long as it's a, a magic tank. So your options are fairly limited at the moment with the current roster. But uh, chip away the damage. Yeah, so he's down to 35%. And it always crosses the threshold, so he's always going to hit you with that Hellfire. Which she's gonna take the hit, right? So, pretty, pretty easy stuff. Like you don't have, like these guys aren't overly equipped with anything crazy. Um, it's mostly just, um, it's mostly just 
as much fire resist I can get on Mystia. You want her over 100%. That's the main thing. And that's not too hard to get. Um, you, I'm using the Cat Ear Hood, which you can get from the Fat Chocobo. And Ifrit's Claw that you get from beating uh, the Beasts of the Dark. And just a few things like that. And of course, have the Ifrit Esper equipped to your Magic Tank. Because that's going to give you about a 50% boost, I believe. So, I'm going to see if I can finish him off here. Put this just for the fun of it. And... I don't know if this is going to kill or not. Hopefully. Ooh, 3% so close. Mastia doing her job. Boom. Re-raise brings her back to life. There you go. And the debuff's gone. So... That is the trick, folks. We're just going to hit repeat, take a victory lap. He's down. Easy stuff. Not too bad, right? Not the big bad wolf that everybody's been saying because I guess he was fairly more difficult in Japan. You had to do different things on lock as well. Not the case here on the global side of things. So that is the strategy. Have a re-raise unit, have a magical tank like Misty or Chow. Have them at least 100%. Every time they die, it actually benefits you because it loses debuff. The re-raise brings it back up. You don't lose that turn. So... For damage, I use Freveya because he's weak to ice. You can use uh, Christine's. You can even use like Orlando Chains or whatever you want that and just brute force it that way. It's, it's not a big deal. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this, please subscribe and follow the channel. Uh, we do a lot of stuff on Twitch as well. And we have a lot of Final Fantasy Brave XVS discussions. I will see you next time with the next Trial Boss.